Hi and welcome to Love Doing Yoga on this Monday evening. Hope you've had a lovely weekend. Um, our theme today is grounded. So let us try to remain grounded throughout our practice and just practice doing that because grounding is just a great way to kind of steady a, a rocking boat. Um, so nice to get a bit of practice of that in today and um, as always throughout the practice listen to your body and only do what feels right for you today so let us begin by lying down making yourself comfortable on your mat closing your eyes slowing down Letting go of your day and everything that's going on in your world. Letting go of all of your roles and responsibilities. Letting go of your to-do list and the labels you and others put on you. Just bring yourself to your mat, spending this time connecting your body with your mind through your breath, feeling that deep connection with your inner self. And as you lie here, just let your focus go to the base of your spine, where it's connected to the mat. Notice how it feels. Direct your breath to this point. And then let that attention move to your navel area. Notice how it rises and falls with your breath. And then letting that focus Continue upwards to the base of your sternum, your solar plexus. Just becoming aware of this point. Directing your breath towards it. And then let that attention move to your heart area. And 
Imagining a freedom in your ribcage, a space, an openness. And then moving on upwards to the base of your throat. Noticing how your breath passes through this point. And continuing your journey upwards to let that focus now rest on the point between your eyebrows. Finding a stillness and a calmness here. And then focusing on the crown of your head. And imagine your inner energy running through all these points, all connected. The base of your spine, your navel, solar plexus, heart base of your throat, between your eyebrows to the crown of your head, circular movement of energy around your body. And then let that focus rest on your breath. As you inhale through your nose, into your belly, pause, and then exhale. Really connecting with yourself through your breath. Taking three more breaths here. And then from here, bending your knees, hugging them into your chest, and just rocking from side to side. Coming to stillness, feeling that connection with the earth. At the ground, that security, steadiness. And then let the hands come down, keeping the knees bent. Raise the legs up and let's just cycle with those legs. Just letting them get moving after the stillness and keeping that going for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 
three, two, and one. Bringing them back to stillness. Raising them up again. And let's crisscross them. And as you crisscross them, you can let them travel down a little towards the earth and then rise up again and bringing them down and then up again and keeping this going as you start to activate your core along with wakening up the legs noticing that the lower they go to the ground, the more active your core has to become. And then when you're ready, coming to stillness once again, hugging them into, hugging the knees into your chest. And then let the feet come down onto the mat. And let the, bring the arms out into a T. Let the legs flop over to the right. And bringing the back through center, let them come over. To the left and gaze to the right. And back to the centre, bringing those arms down by your sides as you roll over onto your side and come up to sit. And actually let's swing around into a tabletop. And in this tabletop, just getting yourself into position, so setting yourself up, shoulders over wrists, hips over knees, feet straight out behind you. And let's just go with the body. So just moving here, whatever way works for you, maybe circling the hips or using your cat cow or just letting the shoulders roll looking from side to side so basically freestyle in your tabletop as you close your eyes listen to your body and just move in whatever way your body suggests you do bringing the whole body into it the head the neck the shoulders, the hips. Just going with it. Listening to your body. And then when you're ready, making your way back to stillness. And taking the left hand, raise it up. And then let's thread it through here, coming all the way through, bringing your ear and shoulder down onto the mat and lifting it up again following it with your gaze you're getting a nice twist in the body and threading it through and again and threading it through and let's take that to the other side Flowing with the breath, inhaling, raising it up. Exhaling, threading it through.
two more times. And then coming back into your tabletop. And from here, curling those toes, pushing the hips back to the heels as you slowly make your way into your downward dog. Pedaling the feet and the legs, encouraging them to open out and stretch out. Until you're ready to come to stillness. Finding that length in the spine, pressing away from the mat. And then from here, wherever you are in your downward dog, lift right up really high onto your toes. And then letting the heels drop down towards the ground. And inhaling, lifting up. And exhaling, dropping down. Inhaling, lifting up. Exhaling, dropping down. Three more, working with your breath. And then if you want to have uh, a little bit extra, so if you're able to comfortably, or more or less comfortably, get your feet fully onto the mat, and you'd like to try just a little bit more of a challenge, lift your toes up off the mat. And then let them come down. And again, lift the toes up, feel that that just adds a little bit extra to the stretch. And let them drop down one more time. And toes back to the ground. And let's step it forward to the top of the mat. Bend the knees and come up to stand. Good. Okay, hopefully those legs are nicely awake now. Um, so let us do um, a sun salute on each side. So check in with the feet, that they're pointing in the right direction, equal weight on both feet, that weight nicely distributed, standing up tall, ear over shoulder, shoulder over hip. Drawing the arms up, palms together, raise the gaze and take a breath. And let's sweep those arms out to the side, coming into your forward fold. Bend your knees as much as you need to. And then lengthen the spine or halfway lift, whichever you prefer. And forward fold. And then let's step that right leg back. For your low lunge. And take it through to a plank. Pressing away from the mat, keeping the whole body active. And one more breath here. 
and then making your way down onto your mat, whichever way you like. And when you reach the ground, drawing up the forehead and chest into your back bend. Keeping that gaze on the mat. And pushing on up through tabletop to your downward dog. Taking three breaths here. And if you want, you can lift up onto the toes and drop down for the breaths or raise your toes up, whichever you prefer. And then when you're ready, stretching that right leg out behind you and step it through for your low lunge. And then let's make our way up into forward fold. Bending the knees, coming all the way up, palms together. Raise the gaze. Sweeping the arms out, forward fold. And halfway lift or lengthen spine. Forward fold again. Let's step the left leg back. Low lunge. Through to our plank. One more breath here. And then bringing yourself down onto the ground and drawing the chest and forehead away. Pushing on up through tabletop to your downward dog. And again, if you want to add a little spice to your downward dog, maybe come up and down on your Toes or raise the toes up. Then stretching that left leg out behind you, step it through, low lunge. And into your forward fold. Bend the knees, coming all the way up, bringing those hands into prayer at the chest, good. And then from here again, raising the arms up over the head, raise the gaze, take a breath. Sweeping down, forward fold. Halfway lift or lengthen spine. And forward fold again. This time with the hands on the ground, we're going to step the right leg back and come into a warrior one. So step the right leg straight back, bending this left knee. The right toe is looking towards the front at a slight angle. 
and lifting up square the hips on the way up raise the arms keeping softness in the shoulders And then bring the hands to the chest in prayer. And we're going to shift the weight onto that left leg and raise the right leg up. So bending forward as you shift the weight onto the left leg and draw the right leg up. Right toes pointing downwards. And let the hands come down onto the mat as you step it back into your plank. If you want to spice up your plank, you could take one breath in normal plank and then take your second breath with your right leg raised. And then let the right foot down and take your third breath with your left leg raised. And then bringing the left leg down and make your way down onto your mat. Drawing up into your baby cobra. And pushing it on up through tabletop to your downward dog. And do as you wish in your downward dog. Think about maybe being a little creative. Stretching that right leg out behind you. Let's step it through for your warrior one. So keeping that right knee over the right ankle, squaring up the hips, raising up the arms. And bringing the hands into prayer at the chest as you shift that weight into your right leg, drawing up the left leg, toes pointing down, gaze to the ground, feel that connection with the earth. One more breath. Step that left foot, hopefully you're a little more graceful than me. Step the left foot down onto the mat, coming into your forward fold. Bending the knees, coming all the way up, raising those arms over the head, palms together, raise the gaze. Sweeping the arms out to the side, forward fold. And lengthen the spine, halfway lift. Forward fold once more. And let's step that left leg back for your warrior one, squaring up the hips, making that stance as long as you can. So you're just challenging yourself a little bit, raise the arms up, soften the shoulders, engage the core. And bringing the hands to the chest, shifting the weight into that right leg as you draw the left leg up behind you.
letting the hands come down as you step it back into your plank again doing plank as you wish maybe with a few little added things And then making your way down onto your mat and through to your cobra. Pushing it up to your downward dog. And stretching that left leg out behind you, stepping it through for your warrior one. Keeping the core involved. Bringing the hands into prayer to lift up onto that left leg. Staying grounded, keeping that connection. And then stepping that right foot back underneath you to come into a forward fold. Bending the knees, coming all the way up, bringing those hands into prayer at the chest. Good. And from here, turning that left foot to the outside, the right angle and lifting the left leg up either onto the calf or if you prefer the thigh. Finding your point of stillness here. Being aware of your standing foot being the root, the connection with the earth. Maybe raising the arms up. Taking one more breath here. And then releasing the foot down, toes together, heels a little bit apart. Coming back into your chair pose and taking a twist to the left. Trying to stack the shoulders on top of each other. One more breath here. And coming back to the centre and all the way up to stand. Let's take that to the other side. So right foot at a right angle and then lifting that right foot up into its position on your left leg, keeping the right angle and maybe raising the arms up over the head. One more breath here. And bringing those hands down to the chest, 
Letting the feet come down, toes together, heels apart. Letting the hips push back, bending the knees, taking that twist. And then coming back to have the hands down on the mat, stepping it back to a downward dog. And from here, raising the left leg up and step it forward. Let that right um, leg come back and drop the knee for a moment as you come down onto your forearms and you know this this uh, left leg if it tends to fall out and the knee go out that's absolutely fine the foot can come up if you want and from here raise up the back knee One more breath here. Let that knee come down, bringing the hands down. And just come up onto that back foot. Keeping the feet hip width apart. You can start to bring some length into this front leg. With the right hand pointing down or touching the mat. Draw the left hand up for a reverse triangle. One more breath here. And then folding forward over this extended leg in the front, clasp the hands behind you and draw them away from the back. Releasing the hands, bring them down onto the mat. We're going to come into a half moon. So with this left hand, you want a little out to the uh, side of your left leg as you raise up your right leg and then we want to stack the hips on top of each other so turn the right foot onto its side and just feel those hips start to come on top of each other as you then raise the right arm up keeping that connection with the ground And drawing that hand down and the leg down, stepping the right foot back beside the left, bend the knees, coming all the way up, raising the arms over the head, raise the gaze. And sweeping them out to the side, forward fold, stepping it back, to your downward dog. Raising that right leg out behind you. Let's step it through and come into our lizard pose on this side. So down onto your forearms and if you like lifting that left knee away from the mat.
and letting the knee come down onto the ground as you uh, lift up onto the left foot as well bringing a straightness into that right leg keeping the left hand connected to or pointing towards the earth as you raise the right arm up for your revolved triangle here And then turning to have the body come over that front leg, bringing the hands behind the back for a really intense stretch, raising the arms away from the back. Releasing the hands, let the right hand come a little bit out to the side of that right foot as you lift up onto the right leg for your half moon pose on this side. So again, turning that left foot sideways, stacking those hips, raising up the arm. One more breath. And bringing the hand down and the foot down. Bend the knees, coming all the way up to stand. Good. And then from here, let's shift the weight into this right leg. And draw the left leg up, bending the knee on the left leg. So that it is in line with the right knee. Holding on to that left foot. If you can't reach the left foot, you can try it with, uh, you can pause the video, get a belt or a strap and uh, put it around the top of your foot to help you hold it up. Finding that stillness, feeling that connection with the ground. Raise the right arm up. And then we're going to come into a dancer pose. So we're hinging at the hips, letting the left foot push into the hand as you raise that leg up. And we just come forward. Stretching that back leg if you can. One more breath if you can. And coming back to upright, let the foot come down, toes together, heels apart, hands in prayer as you push back into your seat. Take a twist to the left. And coming back through center, rising up, let's take it on the other side. So shifting the weight into that left foot, drawing up the right leg so the knees are in line with each other. Finding your stillness here as you hold on to the top of your right foot. all the time despite the disturbance of just being on one foot keeping that connection with the ground having that security there all the time raise the left arm up
and this might be enough for you. Or if you like, take it into your dancer pose, just hinging at the hips. Let the leg rise up so you feel a stretch in the quad. One more breath. And letting the right foot down. Toes together, heels apart, sitting back taking your twist. And from here, bringing it into a forward fold with the toes together. See, can you deepen into this fold? And making your way down into tabletop. Finding stillness here. Becoming aware of your, all of your connections here with the ground, your hands and your legs. pushing back into an extended child's pose, arms outstretched. And then drawing those arms Back down by your sides, allowing the whole back of the body to round and soften. And then lifting up, let's bring ourselves down onto the mat. having those feet about shoulder width apart, pressing into the mat with your feet as you lift up to your bridge pose. Keeping the hips up so you feel there's almost like a nice even diagonal line going from your knees all the way down to your shoulders. One more breath here. And then slowly lowering yourself down onto the mat. Bringing the arms out into a T, let those knees fall over to the right as your gaze goes to the left. And then taking it over to the other side. And coming back to the center, hugging those knees into the chest, just 
gently rocking and rolling. And then when you're ready, you let those feet come down onto the mat, stretching the legs out nice and long. Toes flopping out to the side. Palms facing upwards. And allow the body now time to absorb what it's learnt. As you totally release and let go. Letting go of your toes, the soles of your feet. Letting go of the tops of your feet, your heels and ankles. Letting go of your shins and your calves. The backs of your knees. The fronts of your knees. The backs of your thighs. fronts of your thighs, your glutes and pelvis, letting go the back of your body, your spine, the back of your rib cage and your shoulder blades. the whole back of your body, completely let it go. The front of your body, rib cage, chest, shoulders, your armpits, upper arms, elbows, forearms, your wrists, the backs of your hands, palms of your hands and your fingers. Just let it go. Letting go of the back of your head, the crown of your head, your forehead, Eyebrows, eyes, cheeks, jaw, chin, lips and tongue. The whole of your body, just let it go. And identify three things in your life people or just general ways of being that you are feeling particularly grateful for today. Three aspects of your life. Allow that gratitude to fill your body. And then let your attention go to your breath. As you inhale through your nose, into your belly, pause, and then exhale through your nose. Each breath helping you connect a little deeper with your inner self.
and bring to your mind your favourite place in the world. and spend a little time here at peace with yourself. 